Dude, this game is old. I was gonna say awesome, but... Peter, there are way better games out there than this. It's a classic, man. It doesn't even work. Watch this. Bro, we look a bit strange. You mean... 8-bit strange? This isn't time for puns, Gavin. What happened? You had to go all Wreck-It Ralph on the console. Actually, this isn't all that bad. Look at this. Guitar power-up. Please, watch my moves. Eh. Watch this. Pretty cool. You can do a lot more in here than I thought. You got that right. Let's see what else we can learn. Video games. Of course they can be tons of fun. But do you ever stop and notice what you learn from them? Or how they even benefit you? 95% of high schoolers play them, whether it's on their phone, computer, or game console. And today I have three games to show you guys. They'll teach you how to play the guitar, stay fit, and you'll learn how to dance. But I think I'm going to need some friends for this. So let's begin. Rocksmith. Don't get it confused for rock band or guitar hero. It's unique in a very special way. It teaches you how to play a real guitar, simply by just plugging it into your game console and teaching you the right strings. For a great way to keep healthy at home, try Wii Fit. It has a multitude of workouts and exciting mini games to make your workout experience more riveting, like this. Just Dance. It's a fun way to work out and do cardio. Plus, you get to learn some dance moves to some of your favorite songs. And you get to compete with your friends to see who's the best dancer. These three games are just a few of the options that will do more than just entertain, but actually teach you something and wear you out. So the next time you play, get up, get active, and you'll learn something. Reporting for Ignition TV, I'm Alan Bonilla. You guys want to do another song? No! Are you ever going to stop jumping, Peter? This is fun! Dude, get me down! Looks like a glitch. I told you this game was old. I don't care what you said. Now get me down. How am I supposed to do that? Reprogram the game. You mean with math. I am definitely going to need some help. Most of us play video games from time to time. But have you ever wondered how they're designed? As fun as video games are, they take a lot of hard work and a lot of math. Without the help of math, your character wouldn't be able to do all the basic things like run, jump, or even slide. Here's an example. When I jump, I don't just go up a y-axis and across an x-axis. What I actually do is create a parabola to jump up and down. It will look weird if I just did this rather than this. Math is applied through game development. It's learning programming languages and writing code. It's actually a really math intense program. And for high school students, they're recommending at least Algebra 2, and you actually do calculus within the program. When you're thinking about video games, there's a lot of different elements that go into that. There's going to be the art side, the writing side, uh, the collaboration, the math, uh, which is the game development like we talked about. So the academic classes you're taking here, when you get out into the industry, you're applying it. Now it's applied in a different way. You're not just sitting there doing basic math problems. You're applying it to video games, but you're using it every single day. People aspiring to go into the gaming industry need to make sure that it's their passion and they want to learn more about how to actually create the games as opposed to just playing them. Your teachers weren't really lying to you when they said math is everywhere. So if you want to make video games one day, make sure to study up on your algebra and geometry and calculus. 
and trigonometry. Oh, jeez, I got my work cut out for me. The 2016 KHS yearbooks are now on sale for $65. The Kona Ice Bus will be here on October 28th. $3 for a small, $5 for a large. The Ignition TV Mart is open once again. We got all the snacks you will need. We are located in the Fine Arts Wing nearest the auditorium. Senior dues are $40 until Christmas break. Once we return, they'll be $50. See Miss Kelly for more information. I am so glad I'm down from there. Hey, look at this. Now we are talking. Dude, my turn. Ow! This isn't my favorite game anymore. Really? Are you kidding me? I love it. Wait for me. Here's the class. Okay, maybe video games can be just a little bit addicting, whether it's Xbox or PlayStation, well, whatever you prefer. I'm here to find out what you, the student body, have to say about frequent gameplay. I said get to class! Jeez! My favorite video game series is the Resident Evil game series, just because, you know, it, it gets more fun as you progress. I don't exactly have a favorite video game series. I play whatever is in front of me. It probably have to be Call of Duty because I like first-person shooter games. So I would say Grand Theft Auto because you can basically do anything in there. It taught me no matter what you do, you shouldn't give up. A lot of hand-eye coordination and it taught me how to read a lot faster with all the comments sliding by. Even if there's a challenge, you just overcome it and just work on it until you can win. It really helps with history. That's how I passed my history class in eighth grade. If you ever face opposition, you're going in the right way. Well, Knight, you've got your word on the street. If you don't mind, i got to get to class and finish this level. For Ignition TV, I'm Courtney Casey. See you later, Kathleen. I see the end. Wait, w where's the boss? You just had to say something, didn't you? Well, I don't make the rules. There's always a boss level. Don't worry. I got this. <clears throat> Peter! No! <laughs> <laughs>